so welcome to PCDMS 2019 R2 and as you can see it's got a very different look it's got a fresh new home page as you can see here so this is what you see as soon as you launch the software um, I just wanted to show you in this video just a couple new um, new looks and new features uh, included in this version it won't be everything new but I'll just show you a couple items so first is the home page as you can see here you can see we have a news feed up in the upper right which uh, launches um, different promotions and events that Hexagon is offering. Uh, we have links to the forum, links to the uh, newsletter, and the Idea Center over here on the, the bottom right. So there's a few new tabs added here. So we could just use this as opposed to using the file, uh, the menu bar. Um, there's the home tab where you can uh, just launch a new routine your recent files are stored here. Uh, previous to this version, there'd be a long list uh, shown here. So now they're shown in icons. You can add routines to the favorites tab. And then the open tab um, is just a shortcut to the folder where your PCDMS programs are stored. And then last we have this discover tab, which is kind of neat. It's a uh, links to different um, promotional videos, uh, tutorials that Hexagon has put out. So it's kind of nice, nice to have it all in one spot there. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually launch a program. So I'll just launch this one I've been working on, this uh, just 2019 R2 testing. And I'll just show you a couple of new features. Um, so the one new feature that I really like is the changes made to the um, quick features. So shift click, uh, is the way we create quick features but you'll notice that I only did the single click so shift uh, single click now launches the measurement strategy widget toolbar so you can see it up there in black so prior to this version we had to shift double click to open that so this is nice and we can cancel if we want so that's great because um, I always found it difficult to shift double click sometimes it didn't quite work so now every time I do a quick feature we have access to that toolbar, which is great. And by the way, we can disable that if we want. So in Setup Options, F5, General tab, if we scroll to the bottom of the checklist here, you can see we can disable it uh, by just unchecking Use Measurement Strategy Widget. Then it goes back to the old way. Okay, so I'll just leave mine on. So the next thing I wanted to show you is changes to Summary Mode. Um, so you, you can see I'm in command mode for my edit window viewing. So I'm going to switch that to summary mode here. So there's been a few changes here. So now we can no longer edit in this window. Like we can't expand with that plus symbol. Uh, so we need to double click and edit uh, through the dialog box of the auto feature in this case. So they've, they've removed editing capabilities within the, the window itself. And they've actually added uh, what's called the peak window. I think uh, that popped up a little earlier. Yeah, so you can see it there. So it just provides details in a peak window, like uh, this dimension, for example. So then it looks like command mode. You can actually disable the peak window if you want. So back to setup options, uh, show peak window. We can just uncheck that. And then now when we mouse over, uh, we no longer see that peak window. So the last thing I want to show you is something they've added in this version is a preview of what the summary mode will look like in the future. So they're still working on this. So I'm just going to open that or launch it. When we do that, it will exit the routine and, and uh, reopen it, which is fine. So it warns you about that. Okay, so this is a sneak peek into the future. It's not yet in the software. It's just being developed. So they just wanted to give you a, a preview of it. And if you want to provide feedback, you can go on the PCDMS forum and there's a place for that. So it's just a new look to the, uh, to the summary mode. Uh, these little solid dots here just indicate whether the feature is marked or not. If you want to unmark a feature or a dimension, you just hit the blue dot. So those are now unmarked. 
So just a new look, a new interface. But again, this is just a preview and they're looking for feedback and we will see this in a later version. Okay, so that's just a quick uh, preview of 2019 R2. If you are thinking about installing it or upgrading, um, hopefully this will help you decide or um, explain some of the new features that you'll find. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.